have a question for you. ¿Cómo se deletrea tu nombre? ¿Cómo se deletrea tu nombre? How do you spell your name? In today's class, we're going to review the alphabet. It is very basic, but it's very important. In Spanish, if you know the letter sounds, you can pretty much read any word. So it's not only used to spell something, but it's also to read and to work on your pronunciation. How do you spell your name can also be asked by ¿Cómo se escribe tu nombre? ¿Cómo se escribe tu nombre? In fact, this is more common. Escribe means to write. Let's take a look at the alphabet. Be sure to say each letter out loud. El abecedario or el alfabeto. Either one. A A B B C C D D E E F F G G H H I I J J K K L L M M N N Ñ Ñ O O P P Q Q R R S S T T U U V V W W X X Y Y Z Z This is the official Spanish alphabet. But there are a few common letters that used to be on the official alphabet such as CHE the CH combination CHE EJ it's double L EJ and R R the double R These are not technically in the official alphabet but they are still part of a lot of words in Spanish. Let's look at the vowels more closely. Las vocales. A, E, I, O, U. These are super important. They really don't change in a word. So when you're reading a word in Spanish with the letter A, it's going to sound like A. If you're reading a word with the letter O, it's going to sound like O. Oh. Let's take a look at some examples. Mesa. M-E-S-A. Mesa. Me, there's the E sound. Sa, there's the A sound. Here's another example. Auto. Auto. Both vowels sound. A, U, Do. And then the O at the end is O. This one is DEDO. DEDO. So again, there's the E sound, DE, and there's the O sound, DO. The letter C is a little tricky. Here it sounds like CASA. It sounds like a K. CASA. You can still hear the A. CASA. But here, the letter C sounds like an S. Cielo. Cielo. And again, you can hear the vowels. C, E, E, Lo, O. Here's another one. Pin, we, no. Pin, we, no. The vowel sounds are still there. When the U has the two little dots on the top, it sounds like we. 
like in pinguino. If it doesn't have them, it sounds like gui. And we have another example here, perro. Perro. Here we use the double R. And I know sometimes it's difficult and you just really have to practice on rolling those Rs. But when we have the OR at the beginning of the word, it sounds like a double OR as well. Rosa. Rosa. And again, you can hear the vowel sounds. It's very important because the vowel sounds make the structures of the words. Once you have those down, you can just learn the consonants and you'll have the pronunciation and the skills to read in Spanish. And here's another example, queso, queso. So here the Q makes the K sound and the U doesn't sound in this instance. There's an exception here when we combine Q and U. So it sounds like the K and the next vowel is E, queso. For these and more exceptions, I have a series of 30 days to practice the pronunciation of all the letters as well as those key elements that make all of these exceptions. I'm gonna leave the link here to the playlist. Go watch it. I'm sure you'll learn a lot. Gracias.